Angel Tilver, the Minister of National Defense, conducted an official visit to the Republic of Moldova on Monday, August 7, at the invitation of his counterpart, Anatoly Nosatiai. On this occasion, Romania delivered a shipment of military equipment, including bulletproof vests, helmets, and off-road vehicles. The discussions between the two officials focused on aspects of bilateral cooperation in the defense sector and related topics concerning regional cooperation, NATO, and the European Union. Additionally, they addressed the evolving security environment in the region due to the aggression waged by the Russian Federation against Ukraine, with a focus on the situations arising from Russian bombardments on Ukrainian ports along the Danube River, near the borders with Romania, and the Republic of Moldova. During the visit, the Romanian official, alongside his counterpart in Chisinau, attended the reception of the latest donations from the Ministry of National Defense to the National Army of the Republic of Moldova, including individual ballistic protection equipment, such as Kevlar helmets and bulletproof vests, as well as off-road vehicles. As part of Romania's ongoing efforts to support the modernization of Moldova's defense structures, Romania and Moldova are very close for many reasons, both culturally and politically. Moldova has long expressed its desire to join Europe, and Romania appears to support its neighbors' efforts in this direction. However, this overlooks an ongoing conflict within Moldova's territory. Transnistria is a self-proclaimed region located in eastern Moldova, near the border with Ukraine. It declared its independence from Moldova in 1990, but this secession has not been recognized by any state, creating a de facto situation of international non-recognition. Transnistria has its own government, army, flag, and currency, but it remains under the influence of Russia, with which it maintains close ties. The Transnistria-Moldova conflict is a significant obstacle to Moldova's European Union aspirations. Nevertheless, the dream remains possible for Moldova, as Cyprus faced a similar issue on its territory with the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and still managed to join the European Union. A similar scenario could be conceivable for Moldova. In concluding their discussions, the two ministers agreed to maintain a constant bilateral dialogue and continue their joint efforts dedicated to strengthening regional security and the strategic partnership between the two states.